everyone, and welcome back to the Solid and Vanguard channel. Oh wait, um, that's not my channel. Well, that's awkward. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Wolves of the Round Table. I'm Silver, your local wolf, and I'm glad to see you all back for another news video. Um, so yeah, today we're going to talk about the Daisha stuff that was premiered yesterday, that the Solemn Vanguard, MCOL40, and I assume Diff Fight will be saying, or has done a video, because you know how much of a rock card on Diff Fight gets on the Great Daisha. I don't even know what I'm doing. I, I've stealed so many bits for this video. I... Yeah, so as you guys, if you guys watch Diff Fight, I recommend it if you don't. Um, Diff Fight is a huge Dimensional Robo fan, like, it's like 90% of his content. But, with that being stated, we're gonna hopefully see what we're gonna get. We're also gonna cover a lot of other news. Um, so we're gonna start off with this guy here. Um, Ultimate Dimensional Robo Great Dayusha. <coughs> He's a grade 3 normal unit from the Stargate. A battle droid and dimensional robo. 13k power as all force clans have. And he has an auto vanguard. When placed during that turn, three of your front row units get 10k. He also has an auto hand. At the end of battle, which your grade 3 vanguard attacks, if its power is 45k or if it if it if this unit has 45k or more power, and it was and it was not play and a vanguard was not placed this turn cost counter blast one brad discard a stand during that turn it gains 10k power so this is pretty solid as a unit as an overall unit um we also got two more dimensional cards released we have dimensional robo die this guy we got this card which is a single rare, 8,000 power, 10,000 shield. Auto, one place, cost, soul blast one. Choose one of your vanguards for the battle that this unit attacked. Uh, choose one of your vanguards for the battle that unit attacked during this turn. While, while your opponent calls guardians from his or her hand, she must call two or more cards at the same time. Which combos really well with the beat stick we got, Cosmic Beak. Uh, when plays, Counter Blast 1, this, this unit and one of your vanguards get 5k until end of turn. Pretty good. Um, there's probably some really good units out there. So, I guess we'll cover the other stuff and then we'll cover all the other things. So, Aqua Force seems to have gotten some interesting common support today. We have... Reptile, reptile Dragon. This unit only attacks if it is the fourth battle of the turn or more. When this unit attacks, this unit gains 20k power. It's fairly decent, especially for an Excel clan. Um. Also, it has the auto skill. Uh, we have Influence Dagger auto. When your unit attacks the Vanguard, if it is the third battle or more, the this unit gets t 3k power until end of turn. So overall, pretty basic Aqua Force stuff, looking like it's hitting its waves. Um, I think this card will probably be ran as a backup, like two or three of, for Aqua Force. But past that, I don't really see this doing a lot. Alrighty, let's get into some of the other news. So it looks like we're getting some details on some Foo Fighter. Um, we got this guy which i think if we come here we can see his article that was posted a few days ago when this unit boosts if it is the third battle of the turn or more the boosted unit gets 3k if it if it is the fifth battle or more of the turn this unit the unit gets 5k instead of 3k and he is storm rider so pretty interesting um an overview of aqua force and the new and the neutral deck so we can take a look at that real quick there's a lot going on in the world of Vanguard, and I'm happy with it. Um, there's not too much here, really. Something about Corona, next month's issue, summer vacation, yada, yada, yada. Uh, we're getting some official announcements on a lot of things, like new sleeves. 
Um, we also got a confirmation Aisha uses the same amount of Blaster Blade arts as you get in his trial deck. So he essentially uses two to four Blaster Blades. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's just two because he only has... We only have two arts, but I could be wrong. Um, we also got some information on our uh, Foo Fighters, which I'm going to cover in another video. We also got a couple more Dimension Police stuff. We got Dimensional Robo Die Dragging. Uh, once per turn costs, so last one, when, during the turn, one of your Vanguards gains 5k. Continuous Rearguard. If your Vanguard has 35k or more power, this unit gets 10k. I'm really liking what Dimension Police is doing, and I'm probably going to build the deck, but I'm not entirely sure yet. We also got the Confirmation of Sleeves for um, Shadow Paladins, Dark Irregulars, Pale Moon, and um, Murakumo. So I'm really excited to see what these cards are going to do. Um, I'm mainly focused on these three decks. This one's sort of just an add-on. Um, more ultra rare stuff that we've already covered but overall that's pretty much it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed this please let me know down in the comments below uh send your ideas for potential cards for gold paladin uh shadow paladins and all those other plans yet to be announced and until next time guys i've been the silver wolf and i will see you later hoping to steal more bits until next time peace